this is the application. This is the, the browser that's displaying the application. When you first log in, what you'll notice in, in comparison to some of the legacy uh, on-prem Windows-based solutions is the sleek design, the user interface. Um, it's right out of the gate. It's real easy to learn and, and use. It's real intuitive. So as I move around in here, you'll notice that the piece of, different pieces of the software are, are um, pretty functional and intuitive, like I said, intuitive to use in, in um, how you wanna get that information out. So when I'm logging in, you can see up here on the top where it says that I'm at the top level. One of the benefits of Sage Intact is that it is immediately consolidating all entities. So when I click on this drop down here, you'll see several other entities. I have six entities in this specific um, uh, design here, this implementation. And if I'm at the top level, it means I'm reporting at a consolidated financial level in real time. Um, so if somebody posts a transaction, I immediately see it rolled up with all my entities. If I want to switch to a different entity, I can simply select it from the drop down here. It just opens up another tab on my browser with that specific entity. And now I'm looking at the dashboard for that entity specifically. Okay, you can limit who has access to which entity and, and all those great things as well. Um, but even at the top level here, I can still transact and uh, report on all the entities. There's no longer any need to sign out and sign back in into a different window uh, to switch companies. All right. So the design here on these dashboards is that it's pulling information across the entire system. I can pull information from the financial system. I can pull information from projects. I can pull information AP and AR across the entire platform into one dashboard and consolidate all that information into, uh, you, you know, into one presence. And from that, I can also drill down. So on any of these values here, I can just click on a value and look at the details of that dollar amount and where that's made up. All right, this dashboard right now, I'm filtering it as of a certain date so I can choose any dates that I want to in my dashboard and display the information and all the reports in it as, as of a certain date. So if within this date, if I just hit the letter T, it jumps to today. And then when I tab off, I can apply. And now I'm looking at my dashboard for as of today. 